Hello and welcome to the first episode of Primal Dino. Now, you may be asking yourself, what does that mean? Well, basically, it's the dino list that I'm playing at any given time, the main one um, that I'm using against the meta, whatever's been working for me. And it's going to change here and there over time, but currently... What you see here, that's that's what I'm on. It's been doing pretty good work so far. You'll see a little nice little game against Jess Guy Control just to start things off. Nice little simple game, pretty short, but I want to save some time to go over some of the choices I have right now, just because it is the first episode. As always, the list will be in the description, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment what you want to see, what you like about the list, what you don't. If you want me to try out something, I'm certainly open to that, for sure. I've tried out most dinos in the past, so yeah, let's let's get into it. we got Commune, as always, bread and butter, fantastic. Now I've started getting a combination of commune and then incubation just to have five, sometimes six total diggers, cantrips, whatever you want to call them, just to really dive deep for whatever I'm looking for. Usually it's a toolbox dino like Rampaging or Death Gorge Scavenger, which actually has been doing some pretty good work it can get pretty big, especially if you swing with it. The turn, it comes into play. And yeah, overall, that's that's been working out pretty good. Then we got, of course, the classic Marauding Raptor. Otepec Huntmaster, Drover of the Mighty. My favorite, having some combination. Usually it's four Marauding, four Huntmaster. Some amount of Drover. I've gone four, but... Two still feels pretty good. You're pretty certain to get one of these ten, sometimes two or three, which is pretty good. But yeah, it's been working out nicely. Realm Walker, had to do it, had to revisit it. Um, it's been hit or miss, but I do love it. So I'll try it out for quite some time. Really get a good feel for it. I think there's... There's something there for sure, so I really want to try and make it work um, as much as I can. We certainly have lots of dinos, so that's good. As you saw before, Death Gorge. Um, it's pretty good, I think, in ways it can be better than Scavenging Ooze, but that remains to be seen. I love it, certainly. Realm Walker can help dig deeper for it. Uh, commune with dinosaurs again can dig for it so it has done some pretty good work especially against uh, is it phoenix that sort of thing where they have just a couple key targets that you really want to get out of the graveyard sometimes that's all it takes and you're exiling for free where scavenging news you got to pay some sort of cost so that factor um Death Gorge might be a little bit better. Then, of course, we got the classic Rip Jaw. Lovely. Um, if it's something with not a lot of creatures or no creatures, usually board it out, switch it with Shifting Ceratops uh, pretty often. Incubation. Now, there is no way to cast incongruity unless of course we got drover but i mean i don't have big plans to add in more blue it's mainly just for incubation which pretty much always guaranteed to grab some creature and it is nice if we do hit Huntmaster or drover we're able to grab those whereas commune you know you, you got to pass them up sometimes you want um, one of those two so it's a good pick for sure. So incubation has been good. Might go up to three, three and three, or uh, three and two. But yeah, yeah, it's going good. Regisaur, the more the merrier. Four, 
keep things moving fast. Not much to say about him. It's uh, fantastic. Fast, that's the name of the game. Could be a little faster overall, possibly, but it's a little more mid-range. I've gone faster in the past, but I like where it's at right now. Three Galta. Sometimes I've gone four, sometimes two, but three feels like the sweet spot for this deck. Uh, we see it quite often, especially with Incubation, Commune, then Realm Walker to really get through things. So, yeah, it's been pretty good. Land base, nothing too special. Bonders Enclave has been all right. Um, might drop it down a little bit. Uh, probably take out one. You get a little bit screwed with uh, just the colorless mana. Sometimes some of the dinos you're playing, um, they're reduced so much that you're, you're only spending colored. So Bonders doesn't help in that case, unfortunately. Stomping Ground 4, Sheltered Thicket. Fantastic again. It's got the land typing to help root bound come into play untapped it's been pretty nice turn one since there isn't a whole lot to play and sometimes we don't want to cast commune or incubation turn one anyways want to wait a couple turns maybe turn three turn four just to get a little bit more information we might not need to cast it turn one anyways and then, yeah, root bound, gray crown, some amount of mountains and forests. It's either two and four or one and three, but one and three feels good. And then we got the sideboard, heroic intervention. It's been a while since I had it in here, but with all the Jeskai, Azorius control, uh, that sort of thing really helps against the board wipes or just that sort of thing it's it's been lovely for sure savage stomp interaction in the sideboard if we need it game two and three definitely bring it in pretty cheap pretty cost effective soul guide for more graveyard hate super graveyard hate with death gorge and soul guide uh, it's pretty nice since it only exiles the opponents which leaves our own graveyard for a resource that death gorge can eat from and yeah just love it shifting again might go with three just because it is it's fantastic uh, against the matchups you want to bring it in for it's just lovely even if you know it's in the main board no matter what you're facing it's pretty decent being able to give it haste reach whatever quite valuable for sure but yeah there's the somewhat brief overview let's get into a nice simple game against just guy control they are six three six five one okay well hard to say what they're all about but let's get into it Ooh, ooh, okay could be a little rough. I mean, Otepec, Huntmaster, don't want to have to name humans with unclaimed territory for Drover, but we got two mana. We got two plays for turn two. See how that goes. Death Gorge, again, is nice. I got Yorion, so who knows exactly what colors blinking some stuff get a good idea hopefully this game definitely go mountain first see if we have to name human with unclaimed territory hmm. yeah I think we gotta we gotta name dinosaur still Need that double green for Ripjaw, Galta. Okay, Lightning Strike. Oh, all right. 
some sort of just guy blinking shenanigans. All right, just guy control. Then a root bound. Okay, that's starting to look up. I don't think they'll have any sort of RAS, that sort of thing. Ripjaw feels like it'd be pretty good here. Hopefully hard for them to deal with any damage-based removal. But we'll see. All right. Yeah, they got some, some good answers. But we got some even better ones. That's... That's going to be good. Hasty Galt uh, next turn if they don't kill either of those. I, I expect one of them to die. Doing something. All right, smothering tithe. Ooh. Actually, actually, we can still pay two. And then we just go with Drover. For two, drop Skelta down to two, so that's that's good. We don't want to give them any any more treasures. Leave them at one, and that's game. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of lightning strike. Miscounted. Math is hard, but we'll make it work. Nice getting that uh, commit memory. They don't get that memory half, so that's pretty good. Definitely, they'll have a lot of spells, so Death Gorge should get lots of things to eat. Go to the graveyard. All right, so it doesn't look like any, hopefully no sort of board wipe. All right. Well, we can still pay. Ah, they got a lot open, so that treasure token probably isn't going to do much for them anyways. They have enough to do what they want to do. We'll see if we can draw out any sort of counter spell with another Death Gorge. Still got Galta, if it gets answered. Ooh, that's too bad. Oh, well. Got the win. That's good. But if they have board wipes, they are probably bringing them in. So certainly heroic intervention. Um, Death Gorge, again, was nice eating a bunch of stuff. But rampaging, probably not doing a whole lot for us. Uh, we certainly want shifting ceratops. I feel they'll know what we're all about, so we'll take Galta out, switch her for shifting. Yeah, and we'll go from there. Yikes, yikes, that's... That's not going to do it. I certainly wouldn't recommend taking the risk of keeping that, hoping we draw a land on the first or second turn. It is very, very tempting, and they are quite slow. Oh, let's, let's try her out. Let's take the risk, see how it goes. 
will be on the play next game if we lose. That's not the plan. But even still, um, it's always nice taking risks. High risk, high reward. Oh, there. We were rewarded. It's good. Now, if we get a third land, we'll be laughing. But marauding, and then we could go Death Gorge or Realm Walker. So that'll be pretty decent. Marauding's probably going to get a Lightning Strike, something. Lightning Helix, good stuff. Good stuff. Fantastic addition, for sure. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, definitely just uh, Marauding this turn. If we get another land next turn, we can go Realm Walker and Death Gorge. So that'd be pretty good. It's okay. Pretty interesting. We got incubation. Um, hmm. That's a tough one. I think we go incubation grab the marauding, play them for the turn, and call it good. Keep things moving fast next turn, hopefully. Oh, Wrath of God. Jeez, man. They must have a, another Wrath in hand because that wasn't a whole lot of value, but hey, we'll still play the marauding we just drew. See how it goes. I don't remember seeing seeing any we sent any heroic interventions how uh, we sent to the bottom. Mm. That's a tough one. To have some sort of answer for sure. Mm, but we could give shifting haste. Pretty nice. Ooh, okay, yeah, they got Magma Opus. Definitely want to eat that with Death Gorge. Probably do Torrential Gearhawk next turn with those treasure tokens. That could be rough. Hopefully they don't have Gearhawk. But definitely want Death Gorge to eat one of those. Ooh, that is, that's not what you want to be doing for me. That's pretty good. Oh, we got heroic intervention. Good stuff. Well, let's, uh, let's go to town then. Let's kill him. Game. Shifting Ceratops. Haste. Getting it done. Done in two. Well, that was nice and quick. Um, nice hose and jess guy. Didn't seem, maybe they just didn't draw their wrath, that sort of thing. That's how it goes, but yeah, that went went pretty good.